Good afternoon, Captain James Polk here, the Marion County Sheriff's Office with your daily crime report. Thanks for joining us. Seems that we had someone break into a home in the 6700 block of Southeast 135th Street and stole several model trains valued at $600. Really, that's what we've come down to, stealing model trains. What's somebody going to do with that? Who knows? $3,000 worth of jewelry, though, was stolen from a home in the 9900 block of Northeast 303rd Court Road. That's up around Salt Springs area. The victim stated that he had left a key uh, to her home with a friend uh, while she was on vacation. So apparently someone knew where the key was. I think we'll find out more on that story a little later. Sometime within the month of May, someone entered a garage of a home in the 200 block of Southeast 95th Street and stole a chainsaw, weed eater, and tools valued at $900. Then we had Deputy Bustamante conduct a traffic stop on a vehicle in the 14,000 block of South Highway 475 during contact with the driver, Pete Sessler, 22 years of age. Deputy could smell and see marijuana. Search of the vehicle also revealed a fully loaded 45 caliber Glock that was hidden under the driver's seat. And Mr. Pete, he did not have a concealed uh, carry permit, and so he was arrested. Uh, the Kangaroo Express, 13,000 block of Northeast Jacksonville Road, that's up around Spar area. Victim placed his wallet on the counter while he was checking out and forgot it. An unknown white male uh, in a white tank top then uh, went up to pay for some of his stuff, saw the wallet, and took it with him. Man, had an opportunity to do the right thing and he failed. Uh, the wallet contained $1,300 and credit cards in it, so we need some help finding that person. Uh, let's see, someone entered an unlocked, whoop, almost forgot, vehicle parked at a home in the 200 block of Southeast 54th Court and stole a portable game console and a Canon camera valued at $1,700. Then we had a home in the 9900 block of Southwest 46th Court that was broken into. Someone stole a 9mm Smith & Wesson handgun along with a PS3 and multiple games. Total loss there was $1,500. Then someone entered a vehicle that was parked at Magnum Materials on Northwest 27th Avenue Road, and they stole several prescription pills that was in that vehicle. Sergeant Bowlers observed a vehicle traveling in the 4300 block of Southeast 24th Street had no tag. When Bowlers turned around to approach the vehicle, it accelerated at a high rate of speed into a residential area. Uh, Sergeant Bowlers activated his emergency lights. You know, that's the woo-woo. Anyway, um, let's see. The vehicle hit a speed bump in the 2800 block of Southeast 46th Court at a high rate of speed and went airborne, crashed into a roundabout. Lord, I hope we got that on video. The driver, 26-year-old Dante Johnson, fled on foot but was caught just a few blocks away. Dante's license, of course, was suspended and he had an out-of-county warrant. The passenger, 23-year-old Clarence Evans, he was also arrested because he had an active warrant out of Columbia County. Well, time to put out the fire and call off the dogs. Like us, share us, and please have a fantastic evening. We'll see you Friday. Thanks.